is up everyone and welcome to my first destiny weapon review now today we're going to be going over color Vince's duty <laughs> duty but i'm going to show you some footage in the screen and while i'm showing you that footage i'm going to be speaking about the perks and the scopes that this weapon has so without further ado let us get started you can see the perks that i have if you want to copy those perks then go right ahead However, I do recommend that you try the weapon for yourself and figure out which perks were, you know, good for you. But these are the perks that I prefer. I prefer this red dotted aura sight because it is the most easiest one to actually get hitches with. However, you can also go with the focus lens flash, and you can also go with the true sight IS if you like that type of, you know, reticule. It's kind of small, but you can still use it to get headshots, mostly on PVE. I do, I do not recommend it on PVP. It's not that good. You're gonna be struggling, especially if you're doing, you know, if you're actually doing close quarter comebacks, you're gonna be struggling, you know, because you're gonna be staggering trying to get a headshot on that guy. But these are the perks, okay? Now, depending on the weapon that you get from the Iron Banner, you might get different, you know, it, it might be the same weapon, but it might have the different perks, all right? But these are the perks that I have on this weapon. It has kinetic damage. This weapon causes kinetic damage. You can also infuse it. <clears throat> Like I said, you have the red dot orgs, which is a flexible sight enhanced handling, range, and recoil control. I have the Exhume. This weapon gains improved range and handling for a short time after reviving, which means it actually increases the range. It's actually pretty nice. I've actually tested it myself. You also have Perfect Balance. This weapon has extremely low recoil, which it actually does. It's really easy to actually get head thrusts, especially with the first scope. I like this scope, like I have said already. And finally, we have on the dog. This weapon gains a boost to range and handling when health is slow, which is actually pretty helpful, especially when you're in those tight corners and your health is kind of low. It gives me a better view of the headshots. All right, but down here you have the max, and I wouldn't recommend these, okay, because they do affect the stability and the range. But if you like, you know, if you like these, then by all means, go ahead. If you like a bigger mag on your precision weapon, then just go ahead and use them. I wouldn't recommend them though, because a precision weapon is supposed to have good stability in order to get those headshots. But hey, if you guys want to go ahead and, you know, get a bigger mag, then by all means, go for it. Now, this weapon has various perks, just like any other weapon, depending on the actual weapon that you receive from Crucible. And if you're wondering how you obtain this weapon, you basically have to play Iron Banner, and you'll probably get lucky and get it on your first try. If not, then just keep trying. But without any further ado, let us go and get to the actual perks. Now, the first primary perks is Kinetic Damage. This weapon does Kinetic Damage, of course. It also has Outlaw, Grenadier, third eye if you know what if you don't know what third eye is it basically just lets you see the radar when aiming down sights all right underdog guerrilla fighter hidden hand army of one reactive reload eye of the storm life support last resort exhume i think that's how you actually pronounce it right exhume probably icarus Triple tab, hot swab, swap, sorry, swab, <laughs> swab, hot swap, <clears throat> crowd control, send moment, who's next? You can also infuse it, obviously, it is a legendary weapon. You can also smith it to make it strong and change the actual, um, the actual perks themselves. But that, unfortunately, I didn't get that version of the weapon, so, yeah. But now to the scopes, guys. You can have Range Lens RLR5, Range Lens RLS3, Focus Lens FLA5. And that's pretty much the one that I actually have on me right now. Well, technically not the same, but... It pretty much has this scopes, but you can also have the red dot dash OES, red dot dash ORS, red dot dash OAS, red dot dash ORS1, red dot dash ORES, focus lens FLS2, 
and the final scope will be either Quick Draw IS or True Sight IS. Now to the other perks, the less important perks as I call them. You can have custom optics, oil frame, rifle barrel or rifle barrel, small bore, explosive rounds, armor piercing rounds, caliber rounds, perfect balance, and fuel scout. Now for guns that actually affect your magazine and reloading speed, you can have injection mold, hand lay stock, feather mag, casket mag, brace frame. Those are all the perks that you can have on this weapon. This weapon is actually truly amazing guys. I actually love this weapon. I like precision weapons if you could not already tell. The reason for that is I am a headshot junkie. I like to get headshots. I mean that's just simply how I am, okay? And when you're using precision weapons, you actually you know sorry, you actually have to remember that Precision weapons are not close quarter combat weapons, and you will pretty much lose every battle if you're actually trying to fight against somebody that has a rapid fire weapon, such as a pulse rifle or something like that. Because if you're actually trying to do a close quarter combat match with somebody that has a pulse rifle or a rapid fire gun, you're going to be staggering trying to find a entrance to you know get a headshot basically so your your body's just gonna stagger all over the place while you're trying to aim for the opponent's head and it's just not gonna be a good time right. so that is why precision weapons are most likely used in actual long ranges and uh, close range you know combat and that is why i actually prefer them now I have a various array of different precision weapons that I prefer, most likely the raid weapons because they're just amazing. I believe one is called the Doom Sheltons or whatever, I'll probably be doing another review on that one. Probably later on, depending if you like, you know, if, if you guys like this series or not, but hey, it's whatever. But <clears throat> That is the scope. I'm using the third scope right now, which is the one that I really, really hate. And the reason for that is because I hate the reticule on this. It is way too small, and I like my reticule to be a decent size so that it fits the portion of the opponent's head, allowing me to get a better headshot on him or a better downside aim, which is why I love about precision weapons. You know, if he has a small reticule, it's not going to be actual helpful for me, especially when I'm staggering all over the place trying to get a freaking headshot. You know, which is why I use that one for body shots most likely. I basically just use it for <clears throat> body shots when it comes to PvP, but when it comes to PVE, it's just a whole different story. As you can see here, I'm using it on some PVE. And pretty much they're going down easy. Now I do know that the opponents are low level, but still, you can see how precise this weapon is when it has that scope on when it comes to PvE. And it's easier to get headshots with that reticle, but it's only on PvE. Anyway guys, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope that this video was helpful and really informative to you guys. <clears throat> And if you would like me to actually introduce something new to this series, then by all means leave it down below in the comments. If you also have this weapon, let me know what perks you have on it. Let me know what scope you have on it as well, down below in the actual comments. And let me know how it actually helps you on PvE or PvP, alright? But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I am Fiesta Shy, and peace out. Peace.